Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over my favorite apps, add-ons, and mods that never leave my community folder. Coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. For this episode, I decided to break it up into three different videos. I decided to go that route just to help with some time and to keep the videos as short as I possibly can. If you have any comments along the way, please post those down below in the comment section and I will get right back to you. Also keep in mind that I'm not going to be showcasing any of these apps, add-ons, or mods. I'm simply going to be going over where to get them, what they're all about, and give some brief explanation. If the video helps you out today, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The first application we're going to be going over today is the Alpha India Group, the AIG Live Traffic Software. So I guess it's not exactly live traffic. What the AIG software will do by use of the traffic controller application, it's going to inject all the aircraft and routes for that particular time and location. I've also done a quick download tutorial on the AIG just recently. I'll also put that down below. Next up on the list is the Microsoft Flight Sim Community Downloader. This can be had over at flightsim.to. Again, all the links will be down in the descriptions for these. This application will allow us to have a one-click download as well as keep us up to date on our mods and add-ons. This application will not allow us to download every add-on or mod that's available for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it's got a lot of good ones. I just want to show you the application real quick and just how easy it is to download or update any of the add-ons or mods that you have available. Over here on the left are all the available add-ons or mods for the community downloader. At the very bottom, you can hit add more packages and there's a bunch more here that we can also add to our main page. To download any of the mods, all you have to do is highlight the one you want and hit the install button. That's pretty much it. It's a one click download and when there is an update available, it'll show you that there's an update. You will just click on it, click on update, and you are all good to go. Next up on the list is SimBrief by Navigraph. Another fantastic free application that is powered by your web browser. SimBrief is an application that will help us in planning most of our commercial flights all the way down to some of the smaller planes like the Twin Otter. A lot of the features that are here on SimBrief are automatically populated by the application. You do have the availability to go in here and manually change any of these fields. Above the route section, we also have a couple other applications. I highly recommend to check these out. FlightAware is one of those apps, and this will give you all the current routes for the departure and arrival destinations. This is also going to be another great web page if you're trying to pick an actual flight that is currently being flown from your departure and arrival destination. Down below, it gives you all the flight numbers, planes, and the current routes. I highly recommend to check out the FlightAware Route Analyzer. Next up on the list of free applications is going to be SkyVector.com. If you are flying anywhere in the United States, SkyVector is your place to go. You can do all of your flight planning as well as print your airport diagrams and any of your charts that are available for the airports. If I head back over here to SimBrief, right over here in the routing section, all you have to do is click on the Sky Vector tab here and it will automatically populate your route that you have placed below. So if we take a look over here on Sky Vector now, you can see our complete flight plan for BWI to JFK. If you want to print any of the charts, all you have to do is highlight over the airport and then all of your charts will be listed over here on the right. If you are a VFR pilot, don't worry, Sky Vector's got you covered there as well. Up here on the top right, we have a bunch of different charts here that we can flip through. So if you do not want the IFR chart, we can pick the World VFR chart, another great application to add in your toolbox. Next up on the application list is Little Nav Map. This is another great application that runs external from Microsoft Flight Simulator to help your flight planning and much, much, much more. Let's take a look at the Little Nav Map application real quick so you can just get an idea of what you can do. I'm not gonna be showcasing all the features of Little Nav Map here, 
but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create your flight plan. All I need to do is to come up to airports. I'm going to type in the departure airport, which is KBWI. I'm going to find KBWI there. I'm going to add that as my departure. I will go back up top. I'm going to type in KJFK, right click on it, and then I can add that as the destination. And bada bing, bada boom, there we go. There is our flight plan from A to B. If I'm not going to be flying this VFR and I want to turn this into more of an IFR flight plan, I can create that for us as well by coming up here to the magic wand. And then I can automatically calculate a complete IFR flight plan. Very simple, very easy, and that's pretty much all there is to it. To get little nav map, I will post a link down below in the description as well. I also have a video on how to download some of the aircraft for use inside of Little Nav Map. I'll go over all of that in the other video down below in the description. Next, we're going to get into some of the paid applications that I feel are very beneficial to your flight simming experience. The first one up on the list is flightsimulator.me. Flightsim.me, I think, is one of those applications that fly under the radar for a lot of people because I have not seen many people talk about this. At this point, I know a lot of people are asking, well, what is it? <laughs> what, what can you do with it? This is going to give us a bunch of other icons that are going to populate in our toolbar. As you can see, we have some Medar data information. It has the IVAO integration. VATSIM integration, Oculus integration, Navigraph integration, as well as PDFs, and also an enhanced VFR menu. We also have some other features here, like a canvas board that we're able to use in VR. So let's go down below here and take a look at some of those features. First up on the list is the VFR enhanced map, and this has got a lot of neat features over the default in SIM. VFR map. This is already integrated with the Oculus Touch, so it is Oculus Touch compatible. It also has all of your airspaces depicted on the map as well, with airports, airfields, controlled airspaces, VORs, and NDBs. It also displays your meteorological radar layers with exact rain indicators at all times. Along with the new terrain layer and hill shading, makes the new VFR map just one step better than the NSIM. If you'd like to know more about the user guide, click on the PDF guide and it will explain everything for you. Below that, we have the in-game airport info panel. And with this panel, we can input any ICAO and it will give us all the information or general information about that airport. Mostly what we're looking for is the Medar data and it will give us all of that right at our fingertips. Below that, we have the Oculus VR panel for all the Oculus Quest users. This is fully integrated with your little nav map software. So as long as you have the little nav map application open, we can display all of that data on an in-sim panel. I think that is another really neat feature of this application. The next really cool feature about this application is the in-game panel canvas. For all the VR users, this is really going to help you out because we can jot down any information that's given to us while we are in VR. We're going to use our VR controllers to write out anything we want on the canvas pad. No typing required. In-game panel PDF viewer. This will allow us to view any PDF documents, files, checklists, charts, any of that on an in-sim PDF viewer. This is really cool, folks. We also have an in-game panel descent calculator to help us with our approaches and arrivals. All right, the features for this application just keep going on and on and on. Here we have the in-game panel Navigraph integration. So if you have a Navigraph account, you can display all of your Navigraph charts on an in-game panel. That is so cool. In-game panel ATC IVAO support. This is another great feature of this application. If you're an avid flyer over in the eastern part of the world, you may be using IVAO for your server instead of VATSIM. If you'd like to read more about that, you can just click on the read more. This also has an in-game panel IVAO map for the IVAO server. And last but not least is the in-game panel VATSIM map for the application. For all the VATSIM flyers, I think you will appreciate this part of the application. 
If you would like to have more information on this, just click on the user guide and it will give you more information about this part of the add-on here. So now the last question that everybody's got on their mind is, how much does it cost? We haven't seen a price yet. For the price of the application, there is no set price. Basically, what you need to do is just sign up for any one of the subscriptions and you can download this application. And now I know a lot of people now are saying, wait a minute, I don't wanna sign up for a monthly subscription just to get this application. And you don't have to. All you have to do is click on the new user tab at the top, and this will take you to all of the different subscription plans that you can choose from. These are not a monthly subscription plan, and once you sign up for it, you've got it. So the first one here is the very basic package. For $5, you can download anything but any of the premium content that they offer. For $10, you will have access to all of the downloads as well as the premium content. I think that really gives us a lot of bang for buck here for this application. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you're enjoying the content so far, smash on that thumbs up button. Next up on the paid applications list, is the Sky for Sim EFB tablet. I have done a complete video comparing the Sky for Sim EFB and the Sim EFB application that we're gonna take a look at right after this one. So if you'd like to see that video, check that out down below in the description and that may better help you make your decision on which one to purchase. So what is Sky for Sim and what can it do for us? This is gonna be an EFB tablet that is gonna display a lot of information inside of your cockpit. We can get general airport information, weather information, we can get ILS frequencies. We can also do flight planning inside the EFB as well. It has a PDF reader and there is many more features about this EFB tablet. Again, I go over all of that in the video down below, so I highly recommend to check that out. If you'd like to pick this up today, as you can see for $16.90, it can be yours. Sky for Sim, check it out. Next up on the list, we have Sim EFB, another electronic flight bag system. This will also give us a bunch of cool features and it is set up a little bit differently than the Sky for Sim EFB tablet. With this application, we're able to open up several different EFBs, so to speak, at the same time with displaying various bits of information. For a full comparison of the two EFB tablets, I highly recommend you check out down below in the description. Also, I will have the link for this webpage there as well. And last but not least on the paid applications list is the FS2 Crew Pushback Express. For $12.48, this is a very immersive application that uses your voice to control the ground crew. And I must say it works very, very flawlessly. Now, for those of you who are going, well, wait a minute, I really don't want to pay $12.48 for a pushback tool. <laughs> Over on flightsim.to, we have the toolbar pushback and this is another great tool that is free that allows us to do a planned pushback as well as gives us the immersion of audio from the flight deck as well as the ground crew. But the audio is not operated via your voice, so you do have to operate the in-game panel to get everything going for it. One of the other downsides to this application that it has caused some FPS issues so that's one of the reasons why I do not currently use that application. But nonetheless, it is a very well put together application. All right, I think that's gonna wrap us up for part one of the apps, add-ons, and mods series. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see part two of the video, Click up here if it's available. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.